Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penjin, welcome to Terraforming Mars. I'm very, very excited to be playing Terraforming Mars because Terraforming Mars, the PC game which you are looking at here before your very eyes, is based upon Terraforming Mars, the board game. And it's a really good board game. It's a really, really good board game. It's got a big board and the board has got hexes on it. We are already on to a winner because hexes make things good. And it's got cards and tiles and counters and tokens and fiddly bits and sometimes you have to put little counters onto the tokens and sometimes counters onto tiles and counters onto cards and fiddly bits everywhere. It's really good. It's very, very good. It's a very good board game. If someone you know has this, go around to their house and demand, demand that they play it with you immediately because it's really good. Or if you have a sort of local board game shop or a local sort of geek shop and they do gaming nights, try and uh, catch this on one of those nights. Maybe recommend they put this out because it's well worth a play. It takes a little while to play, but um, yeah, it's well worth playing. You will, you will like it. I can pretty much guarantee it. If you like board games, you will like this once you get the hang of it. So we have got our hands on the pre-alpha build, version 0.67. Got a key for this from the dev, so thank you very much. And we are going to give this a little go, and I'm very, very excited. So I have played this three times. I've only ever played this three times. I've played it twice with friends and once at an aforementioned kind of board game geek shop. And um, yes, the first time I played it was with friends, and I was baffled. For about half an hour, I sat very, very confused, going... What's going on? Because all the other people have played it before and I hadn't. But I eventually got the hang of it. I finished second in that game, which was very, very good. Very close as well. It was a close run thing. So, um, yeah, once you actually understand the mechanics of it, it's sort of a little bit daunting at first. Once you understand the mechanics of it, it's actually not too bad. So here we go. Let's start a new game, shall we? So it's all based on um, sort of a local instance at the moment because it's pre-alpha. In the full version, there'll be local co-op play and local sort of hot seat kind of stuff, but also there'll be multiplayer so you can play it online and all that kind of stuff. So we need to create a local game. I am player one. Now there are stand there's a there's rule sets. There's a standard game and a corporate era rule set. I don't know what that is. We're not going to do that because I would just be lost and confused. Now um the game itself, the board game, is designed for between one and five people. But our pre-alpha build limits us to two people. So we're gonna have two people in. We'll have me as player one and we're going to add somebody else in. Now a human player would be very silly because I'm on my own in the geek cupboard. That would be counterproductive. So we've got choice of uh, easy, medium, or hard AIs. Well, I think easy is not going to be much of a challenge. Hard is going to be too much of a challenge. Let's go straight down the middle and pick a medium AI. And uh, yeah, that's the game set up. So yeah, in the full version of the game, you'll be able to pick more people and different AI levels and all that kind of stuff as well. And um, obviously, yes, connect multiplayer-wise over Tinternet with your friends. But uh, okay, that's a setup then. That is as complicated as the game setup gets for now. Let's create the game and go to Mars. And there we go. We can see Mars in the background. That's the game board. That's the game board behind there. We'll come to that very shortly. So the idea of the game is we want to terraform Mars to make it habitable for humans to go and live there. So to do that, we need to increase the oxygen. We need to increase the temperature and we need to make sure there is sufficient groundwater, i.e. oceans, to then create some sort of water cycle. And we're going to do that by becoming a corporation. So we take control of a corporation and then we use the corporation's resources and monies and whatever else it has to uh, do stuff on Mars. Mars. We could build buildings, or we could enact events, or we could enact policies, and all that kind of stuff, and then eventually try and achieve those goals. So first thing we need to do is pick a corporation. Now there is the beginner corporation. They're a bit too easy. It just says this is a good corporation to start with if you are terraforming a planet for the first time. And they get uh, quite a bit of money to start with, but essentially they get 10 free cards at the start, which I think makes things a bit too easy, because you normally have to choose from these 10 free, uh, 10 cards at the start, sorry, and then you pay for them. But they're going to get those for free, and I think that might make it a little bit too simple. So we need to choose our corporation between Interplanetary Cinematics or Inventrix. Now, Interplanetary Cinematics, which is a bit of a mouthful, I'll be honest, they start with 30 money. So this kind of uh, golden square with the angular edges here is money. I think it's called mega credits in the game, but that's cash. So you start with 30 monies, and this here is steel. So you start with 20 steel, and you can use steel to build buildings. So instead of spending your money on it, you can use some of your steel, and then you keep your money for other things, which is very, very good. And also they have an effect. So each time the interplanetary cinematics play an event card, they gain two monies. So throughout the course of the game, if they play 10 event cards, they're going to get themselves 20 monies. And that's not a bad thing. That's no bad thing at all. A little top-up of your money every time you play one of those cards is not bad. Inventrix, they've got a science-y thing in the corner here. Now these guys are all about building, look, because it's got, they start with steel and they've got a little building sort of uh, tag. These are called tags, they're on the cards as well in the corner. Inventrix have a science tag. 
And indeed, they sound clever, don't they? Inventrix. They use brains as well as muscle when competing with other megacorps. Uh, they start with 45 monies, and the first action in the game is they get three cards for free. So whereas these guys get ten, these guys are going to get three cards for free. So they start with a bit more money, and then they get three cards, which is good. Now, this effect here may well require some explaining. There are certain cards that can only be played under certain conditions. So, for example, uh, if you want to play, uh, put sort of plants down or something, it has to be warm enough. Because obviously grass can't survive, well maybe grass could. But certain plants like wildflowers will not survive in temperatures of minus 28 degrees because they will just freeze and die. This thing here gives you a little bit of flexibility in terms of requirements. So uh, that's quite good. So it's plus two or minus two steps, uh, your choice in each case. So uh, yeah, you'll be able to play things kind of close to the limit. So if you've got a card that needs to be played at, uh, that says, oh yes, you need to play this card at 10% oxygen, and it's currently 8% oxygen, we will be able to play that card because we can say, yeah, there we go. It's uh, plus two steps away. So yeah, we'll be able to play that card. So it gives us a bit of flexibility. That's quite hard to explain now. You'll see how that works in the game. I think I am going to be these guys. I'm going to be Inventrix. I quite like the three cards at the start and their starting money is quite good. And this thing could be quite useful, this sort of effect they have. So let's pick those guys. So yeah, I'll be Inventrix. Let's confirm that and start the game. And now here we go. So this is the first research phase. We get ourselves 10 cards to purchase. And they're all different types. They're all different things. So some of them, that like trees, we get to put trees down on Mars, which is very exciting. But there will be a temperature requirement on that, I believe. So yeah. It has to be a minimum of minus four degrees Celsius, indeed, minus four degrees Celsius or warmer. So if you put a tree in the ground at minus 30, it's just going to freeze and die. And then you get plant production increases and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we'll look at that shortly. A power grid. That's probably no bad thing. Ants. That's quite exciting. Herbivores. And this is sort of later game stuff because it's a bit too cold and barren at the minute. A rad chem factory. That sounds fascinating. Special design. Don't know quite what that does. Um, RK bacteria, that could be quite useful. A city. Now, cities are quite useful as well. We quite like the idea of cities. Uh, Arctic algae and tardigrades. Now, I think most of these cards are pretty good. So we get to pick these and we're going to get... We have to pay three. We have to pay three money, so three mega credits, for each of these cards. So I'm just going to go and have a look through and see what we've picked. And then I can come back and tell you why we've picked them. Okay, I have picked seven of the ten cards. This is not a bad hand of cards to be dealt with to start with, to be honest. So um, in case you're wondering, these bits here, the round things with the numbers in, are victory points, which are used at the end of the game, obviously, to calculate victory to see who has won. So we want to kind of pick things with victory points on, although I have ignored these two. I'm saying that, but then I've ignored these two with victory points on. But you have to do stuff to enact those victory points, and some of those can be a bit of a pain. I'm going to leave those. They're later in the game. We'll probably get something else for that later in the game. So I've picked trees. Trees helps us get plant counters. We have a number of resources down here on our sort of little board, if you like. And um, yes, plants is one of them. So that helps us, gives us some plants and increases our production of plants. Obviously, we'll play that later on. Uh, power grid gives us a boost to some power, as you might expect, which we need. That's down here. A rad chem factory takes some power because obviously built a massive, great factory. But it gives us an increase in what's called our terraform rating which is useful because the terraform rating is used for victory points at the end and also generates money for us which is nice we ignored special design because that's a special card that gives us our ability anyway our corporation ability is the same as our special design card so we don't need that which is all right arcade bacteria that's good that gives us um an increase to our plant production we can play it pretty much straight off the bat because it's going to be cold enough it needs to be maximum minus 18 degrees celsius or colder so yeah we have to play that fairly early on cities are good gives us a victory point that's not too bad arctic algae does pretty much the same as the other one we get a plant and then when an ocean tile is played we gain two plants which is quite nice and then tardigrades these are quite interesting so these are little teeny tiny microby things aren't they so we're on your actions on your turn you get a certain amount of weight well, two actions so we can use one of our actions to add a microbe onto this card and then one victory point per four microbes on that card. So we could get four microbes on this card and get ourselves four victory points, essentially for free, which is no bad thing. That's no bad thing. So we'll just have four free victory points, which is good. So we'll take that on board as well. However, I have just thought that might link to that because Ants here, it says, action, remove one microbe from any card to add one microbe to this card. So I could take the microbes from the tardigrades and put them onto the Ants and give us some more victory points. Okay, that's probably worth doing. Hang on, let's check herbivores. Herbivores are... Oh, no, yeah, they're a little bit faffy. Let's have ants. 
Let's do that. So we're going to spend 24 of our, was it 45 money we started with on these cards. So, okay, done. Thank you very much. You have a forced action to play due to your corporation choice. Yes, I should get three cards. So how do I draw the three cards? Oh, I think they've already been drawn. I think they've been drawn for me. So now I've got three cards. So here we go. Right, let's explain what we're looking at because this could be a little bit complicated. Here's Mars. Apparently this is the, uh, it's an accurate map of the Tharsis region of Mars. Mars fans, in case anyone's paying attention. So um, yes, and we have a little thing up here. Is that Ganymede? That's one of the moons, I suspect. So um, yeah, I think you can build something on there if you get the right cards. And yeah, we have hexes. We have hexes. We can build things in these hexes. These blue ones here, Oh, where water is going to go because it's going to go in these gullies along here so there's water tiles there's a water spot down here there is a water tile up there and there's some up there as well if you put something on the tiles with a thing on it so like uh, just there you get that resource so this resource is steel and that brings us quite nicely onto our resources so down here we have some stuff so we've got mega credits down here which is money we have steel steel is used to pay for building cards so one unit of steel is worth two monies so if you had a building with a particular building card and it said, yep, yeah, this is going to cost 10 monies, you could spend the 10 monies if you like, or because one unit of steel is worth two monies, you could spend five steel and it would be you know, paid off. You could build the building with steel instead of monies and keep your money for something else. Then we have titanium, which is used to pay for space cards and the one unit of titanium is worth three monies. Then we have plants down here. As an action, eight plant resources can be converted into a greenery tile and you put a greenery tile on the board and it increases these over here, which I then need to go into as well. So there's a lot to explain. There's a lot to explain. Buckle in. Um, this is energy and energy is useful. And then energy turns into heat and heat at the end can be used to increase the temperature. Over here are our victory condition type things. So there's no water tiles. There's naught out of nine water tiles at the minute because I've only just started. The temperature is somewhere down here on uh, zero. Oh, no, no, that's oxygen. There's no oxygen. There's zero oxygen. And the temperature is somewhere down here, so minus 30 or something. So once the temperature is up here at 8 degrees, and once the oxygen is at 14 degrees, and there are nine water tiles on the board, wherever they may be, as long as there's nine on there, the game ends. That's finished. And then we calculate victory points, which is on the cards, and uh, comes from a number of other sources as well. And then we see who's won. There is a thing called a terraform rating as well. So already we're getting a little bit complicated. So we've got a terraform rating. Uh, now on the board, I don't quite know how to find the terraform rating on this particular screen. But on the board, actually the, the board game version, it goes around the edge of the board. And it's like a little sort of counter thing that you move around. And you want to increase that because it gives you money and it gives you victory points. So if you have 40 terraform rating at the end, you're going to get 40 victory points. But each turn, so each generation, because it's a generation, you're going to get 40 monies. So obviously the more you can increase that, the next turn you get, if you increase it by five in one turn, the next turn you're going to get an extra five monies to play with so we get two actions we get two actions then our opponent gets two actions then we get two actions then the opponent gets two actions and we keep going like that until both of us have got nothing to do then the generation ends and the whole process begins again we get some more cards to pick from we play our cards we generate resources we do all that kind of stuff so uh, yeah again it's a bit complicated let's just play it and see what's happening so we've got lots of cards and we can certainly play some of these like this rk bacteria one we could play that very very straightforward in fact you know what what were the ones we got given because we just got given three cards didn't we breathing filters gives us an immediate two victory points protected habitats and tundra farming okay breathing filters you need a minimum of seven percent oxygen or more so we can't play that now because the oxygen is down here somewhere at nothing which is obvious because we've only just gone to mars uh, that is protected habitats opponents may not remove your plant animal and microbe resources yes because some cards allow you to steal stuff from other players so that's quite good. Protected habitats is useful. And we have ourselves tundra farming, which needs to be deployed at minus 6 degrees C or warmer. I mean, we're way off that now. It's like minus 30 at the minute. It's really cold on Mars. Thermal pants on and big socks. So um, this increases plant production and your money production. And you gain a plant, but that's very expensive. So yes, we need to figure out what we want to do early on i think we go for this let's put this down because we can play it now because it has to be cold minus 18 degrees c or colder and i don't want to miss out on using it so let's do that we're going to spend six monies on increasing our plant production by one step so if we use that yes i would love to do that please now you can see here 
Next turn, we are going to get one plant. We're going to get an extra plant. When we get eight plants down here, we can then create a forest on the board. And the forest increases oxygen production because obviously there are trees and they're doing stuff. So yeah, it's a case of you earn stuff down here to then spend upon the board, if that makes sense. There's other ways you can do it as well. But now we've had our two goes for this little sort of this round. So let's go end turn. Grey player's going to have a go. And then, I don't know what they did. They did whatever they did very, very quickly indeed. But okay. They didn't seem to do anything exciting. They didn't increase the temperature or anything. Okay, fine. So now we get to play another card. Or we don't have to. We don't have to play anything. But um, I think it might be advisable to. So I think we play Tardigrades. Add one microbe to this card. So we can play the card, which is four. So it's going to cost us four monies. And then the next turn, so yeah, we'll play that. I think it'll appear hopefully somewhere in our hand. I don't quite know where that's gone. Card resources, possibly? Where's that gone? There we go. Tardigrades. And now as our second action of this particular little go, we can then add a microbe. So let's do that as well. Let's add, let's click on that, is it? Can we do that? Maybe we can't do it because we've only just put the card down, possibly. But um, yeah, I'd like to be able to do that at some point. I don't know why I can't do that. Okay, never mind. Maybe we have to do that next turn. Maybe they can't be... Um, you can't do an action on it just after it's been placed. Um, Arctic algae is too expensive. These things are all expensive. Rad chem factory I can't play because I've got no power production at the moment. Uh, tundra farming is too expensive. Yeah, I don't think I can do a lot. I don't think I can do very much. I could play protected habitats right now and protect all of my plant, animal, and microbe resources from the other person. That might be worth doing fairly early on, just to get that in. So, okay, yeah, let's use that. Let's play that card, and that's given me a little bit of safety there. That's quite nice. That's very, very cool. Now, as well as using your cards, there are other things that you can do. So there are standard projects. So sell patents is sell some of your cards, which is fine. gives you some money back. You can build a power plant for 11 to increase your energy by one, because at the minute we've got no power. We're not producing any power, and we've not got any power in storage. There's an asteroid to increase the temperature by one step. You love an asteroid at Mars. Seems a bit harsh. Aquifer means that water appears. Greenery means you place a tree. And a city means you place a city. And there are other things here as well. There's awards and milestones. We'll get to those later, because otherwise it'll be very, very confusing. So let's end that turn. Lovely. Grey play Grey player has an awful lot of money gray player is very very wealthy oh that's our rating just there there we go so our terraform rating is the number next to our name right okay that makes perfect sense now is there anything else i want to do i've only got six monies i've got six monies actions ah that's where this thing is there we go i want to do this i want to create a um i want to create a microbe on our little tardigrades thing so let's do that so we'll bosh that yes i would like to do that action and now i've got a microbe on my Tardigrades card, now in the board game, you have a little tiny, teeny kind of coloured counter thing. And you would put it on your card. And that's where all the fiddly bits come in. It's very, very exciting. So yeah, let's confirm that. Very good. Okay, let's skip the rest of that. Yes, I'd like to end my turn. It goes back to Grey Player. So is Grey Player going to do anything? He or she has got a bit of heat. And they've increased again. Crikey, they must have some very, very simple ways of increasing that. Oh, look, they've been increasing the temperature, look. They've been increasing the temperature because it was minus 30. Now it's like minus 26, whatever it is. Um, I don't think I can do anything else. I don't think I can do anything else in on this particular round. I need some more monies. So what I have to do is pass. Once I pass, I can't do anything else in this generation. Player, Grey player, whatever it's called, will then continue to have as many goes as Grey player can have until they pass. And then the whole thing resets. We get money. We get to pick of new cards. And generation 2 begins. So let's do that. I'm going to pass... Yep, I can't play into the next generation. Right, you are. Grey player, player green. I, ah, right, it's, it's kicked in already, has it? Right, okay, I think, is that what's happening? Production phase. Yeah, okay, right, so they're doing the production phase. So now the grey player goes first this time. Grey player gets a go, and we get to choose some cards. So now I have been given 26 credits. So I've got more money. I got given my 20, was it? Yeah, I've got even 20 credits, which is now mean that I've got 26. I can then buy up to four of these cards, which is probably quite a good idea. But I don't get anything else. I'm not producing any steel. I'm not producing titanium. I am producing a plant. So I got one plant counter, which is good. I'm not producing any energy and I didn't produce any heat. <laughs> oh, dearie me. 
So let's have a look what these are going to do. The Great Escarpment Consortium. What is escarpment? I've never heard that. So it must have steel production. I don't have any of that, so no point with that. This is quite good. Release of inert gases costs 14 monies, but gives you an immediate two increase in your um, terraform rating, which is very, very good. That's a good thing, because essentially it's two victory points and you get two extra money each generation. So that's a good thing. We'll have that. Uh, caretaker contract. Spend eight heat to increase your terraform rating one step. Again, that's probably worth having later on when we've got some heat. And bushes increase your plant production two steps. Gain two plants. Minimum minus 10 degrees Celsius. That's quite good as well. Those three are quite good. I'm taking those three. I'll leave the, that thing behind. And plants, I think, we've, I think we're quite planty. I think we're quite a planty thing. Let's have that. And now is it my go or is it his go? Right, grey player goes first. Grey player has hardly got any money left. Ooh, the grey player has placed some sort of volcano or something on there. Okay, fine. And they just reduced my thing down. That's a bit rude. Did they just reduce my thing down. Oh no, they hurt their one. I thought, yes, I forget that this flicks to uh, mine and their little sort of board. So now what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I could do with some power. I could do with some power. Let's have a look through the cards. So a lot of these I can't play. You know, I would love a little tick box to say, what can I play and what can't I play? Because obviously I can't play trees because it's uh, not available. It's not minus four degrees C or warmer. So I could do with a little sort of uh, little nudge to say, yeah, okay, yeah, that's what you can play and that's what you can't play. In fact, do you know what? Without even playing a card, let's do this. Let's use... What's that? Oh, I can get three cards. What, every turn? Oh, that's good. Oh, I didn't know that. I can use that every single time. Oh, I just get three cards. Yeah, all right. I'll do that, please. I've just got three more cards. That's quite a nice effect. That's my sort of corporate effect thing. I just thought it was at the start of the game. Not every single generation. Okay, that's quite good. Um, and then... Oh, no, not effects. I meant actions. Let's create a little... Um, another... Uh, whatever it is. Microbe on that card. Yes, please. That's my actions done. End my turn. Grey player. Grey player has passed already. So grey player did nothing that turn. They just sort of sat there and did absolutely nothing. Uh, okay, well, what are the three free cards we just got then? How intriguing. An asteroid. An asteroid. Oh, no. It gives us some titanium, but it removes lots of our um, removes our plants. I don't really want to do that. Phobos Space Haven is quite good. It gives us a space base and three victory points. Nuclear power, however, that's got to be a good thing. Decrease your money production two steps, but increase your energy production three steps. I think I can cope with that. Energy is useful. Let's go for that. Let's have that. Let's build a nuclear power plant on Mars. Yes. Okay. So our money's gone down now. So, yeah, we're going to lose a bit of money. So we need to try and top that back up when we can. But um, we are going to get energy as we play, which is very, very good. Second action. What do we want to do? Power grid might be now worth doing. Increase your energy production one step for each power tag you have, including this. So tags are on cards. We come out of that. Tags are shown on certain cards. When you play a card, it has tags in the corner. So at the minute, we've played cards with one building tag, one power tag, two science, and two microbes. Let's keep that card. Let's keep power grid. Let's not play that right now. Uh, I've only got seven monies. I can't play very, very much, if I'm completely honest. Um, caretaker contract is exchanging heat. Yeah, I haven't got any heat, so I can't do that. That would be quite nice to do, but I can't do that either. Do you know what? I might have to pass. I might pass on my turn and then just just kind of leave it. I need some monies. I need the monies. So yeah, now he's on 25 against my 20. I'm currently being whooped. I'm being I'm being beaten. Yes, I'd like to end my turn, please. And then I'm going to pass my turn because I can't really do much else. Yep, okay. So now the production phase happens. So he's getting all his resources. Now I'm getting resources. Oh no, that's still, that's still there. Now it's me. There we go. So I've got some money. He's got 27 monies. I've got two plants. I've got three, uh, three energy, which is good. Now I get to choose my cards again. So let's have a quick look through these. Which ones do we want to pick? They're all really good cards. 
they're all really good cards. Now the risk of this game is you end up with a handful of cards, too many cards. And yeah, that, that is a problem, but I want all of these. All of these are really good. That sponsors one there particularly. I wonder who those people are. Hello, smiley people. Um, that one there will offset this balance. That gives me plus two to my money production. So I'm on minus two. If I play that, it'll just balance it straight back out, which is tremendous. Let's have all of those. Why the heck not? So 12 monies, it's gonna go down. So I'm gonna be on 15 monies because I have to buy those cards. Now, is it my go? Do I get a go first? Yes, I get a go. Okay, fine. So I've got 15 monies. The first thing I'm going to do is go to that card there. No, not there. That one. Sponsors. Play that for six. That increases my production back up. There we go. So, yep, yeah, use that, please. Yes, I'd like to play sponsors. Yay! So I don't lose two from my sort of uh, money income anymore. That's balanced out quite nicely. And then actions. Let's do this thing again. Do I want to use this action? Yes, I do. Tire degrades. Confirm that. Thank you very much. Okay, end my turn. See what grey player is going to do. Grey player is getting a little bit of free money by the look of it. They're not passing already, are they? Oh, no. No, not passing entirely. Right, okay. That's interesting. Now, what do I want to do now? I might get these three cards. Let's use that. Let's get three free cards. Because then I can always sell cards. If I'm never going to use them, I can always sell them for money. Ice cap melting. What does that do? If I played that, which I can, only it needs to be a minimum of two degrees C or warmer. Place an ocean tile. Oh, that's quite good. That gives you victory points. Uh, solar wind power. Increase your energy production one step and gain two titanium. That's also quite good. I'm getting a lot of very, very good cards. I just need the resources to actually play them. Um, so I might go for greenhouses. They were quite good. Oh no, no, not that one. Which was the good one? There was a good one. Arctic algae I might need to play. 12 degrees C or colder. I might need to do that very, very soon. Because otherwise it's going to be too hot to play that. So yeah, let's use that. Let's go for Arctic algae. It'll give us one plant immediately, so our plants will go up to three. But also when an ocean tile is played by me or opponent, I will get two little plant tokens. So let's spend 12 monies on that. Do not fulfill the requirements to play this card. Don't I? Are you sure? Max minus 12 degrees C or colder. Oh no, I haven't got the money for it. I haven't got the money for it. Um, do you know what? I'm quite happy to leave that. I'm quite happy to leave my turn for now. I'm not doing very much. Am I on these things? Yes, I'll end my turn. So he's passed. Oh, so it's come straight back to me. It's come straight back to me. Okay, did I do my tardigrade thing? Yes, I did. Yeah, I can't do much. I need more money. I need the money. I need to upgrade my terraform rating. Okay, yep, yeah, let's pass. Next generation is going to kick in. Generation 4 already. So there we go. Look, I'm getting more power. I'm getting more plants. I've got some money. That's very lovely. I'm going to have to not buy all these cards. Give me a handful of rubbish cards, please. I really, really want some terrible cards. Because then I'm not going to be tempted to buy them all. Okay, right. Let's have a look then. Do you know what? The computer must have listened because they're not particularly good. Um, that one gives us minus one victory point because we're doing an illegal thing because we're energy tapping. That's not great. Investment loan isn't brilliant. And the toll station isn't that good. I mean, that's probably the best one. But of all the, I've got 19 other cards. So yeah, let's save my money. Now I've got 29 monies. So yeah, there we go. I'll certainly take that. So now I can spend some more monies on the cards I've actually got. Rather than buying cards and not being able to deploy them, I can now do this. Now he's just done something to increase the heat again. He's absolutely flying through. That's where he's got all those from. Good grief. Okay, I need my go. Can I have my go now, please? Because he's got 28 terraform points as opposed to my 20. So yes, just, just to confirm, the uh, end score is all the victory points that we get. So the things, say, on those tardigrades... Uh, where is it? How do I see the card? How do I see that card? Okay, I can't find how to view that card, but victory points are the numbers in these things. They're supposed to look like Mars, I think. So if I played trees, I would get one victory point. So at the end of the game, you add up any cards you played that give you victory points, or indeed minuses, because there are cards that minus it if you're doing something a little bit nefarious. You add all them up, and then that's your victory points from your cards. You then add that to your terraform rating, which is this number here. So you add those two together, and then you get extra victory points if you have other combinations of things on the board. So if you have a city, I think it's a city, and it's next to woodlands next to sort of the forest tiles you get 
points for that. I think it's you get one victory point for every two woodland things next to one of your cities, I think. And that kind of stuff. So you get extras for it being on the board. And again, this is what this is. There's a lot of rules. There's a lot of rules going on in this game. So uh, first thing I want to do, uh, might as well do that thing. Let's do that. Yes, we'll put a tired grade on there. Lovely. And that's that maxed out because I think you can only have four on there. And we might as well. No, nope, let's not do that. We might as well draw these other three cards out. Yeah. And then we could always sell them. We can always sell cards. So what did we just get? Because we've got loads of cards now. Imported GHG. What on earth does that do? Increase your heat production one step and gain three heat. Okay. That's not a bad thing. That's okay. Um, increase your steel production one step. Oh, okay. That's good. And oh, that's a victory point. That is a victory point straight off the bat. Six of that just gives us a victory point for deploying the trans-Neptune probe. Okay, interesting. Okay, they're all quite good. They're all okay things. Right, okay, before it gets too too silly, before it gets too warm, let's deploy the Arctic Algae. Again, these little bits here, I think, uh, to do with the pre-alpha look. I don't think that thing should be sat plonked in the middle. So, uh, yeah, let's try and play... Can we play that? Hang on. Why can't we play that? Are we having a, a little technical issue here? I would like to play that, please. Where's the button to deploy the card? Okay, hang on. Are we having a little bit of a technical wobble? Yeah, how do I play? Oh, no, I've got no actions left. Hang on, that's why. Let's let Grey Player have a go. Yeah, oh, Grey Player has passed. Okay, so it's straight back to us. Now, Arctic Algae. There we go. Use down the bottom. <laughs> it's sort of appeared up in there. So let's use that. Give us a plant. And then when Ocean Tiles gets played, I get to plant. So, yes, yeah, so let's play that, please. Thank you very much. Lovely. And now I can do something else else so let me just have a look what's the best thing we can do right now that's probably not bad release of inert gases a one-off raises our terraform rating two steps so we'll go from 20 to 22 and next time out we'll get 22 monies rather than just the 20 from our terraform rating so yeah let's use that shall we why not yeah thank you very much 22 three left end this turn i don't think we can do anything else i've got can i play anything for three um, caretaker contract. Oh no, but I haven't got eight heat for that. I haven't got eight heat. I don't think I've got anything else that's three. I've not got anything else that's really tiny, have I? Oh, these you know, these are smaller. Mine would have been quite useful, but but um, no, never mind. Okay, right, pass. Yep, I'm done. My turn is over. We are on generation four. So yes, we've done all right on. Well, I say we. The other guys done all right on increasing the temperature. We've not done very well on increasing oxygen and indeed putting water down we've done a very very poor job of that so far right here we go some more cards oh some of these are quite good okay let's see which ones i'm gonna go for oh that is a very good card it's fairly expensive to you know get your hands on initially it's 23 of your monies but then every time you play a card after that it's two monies less so what you have to do pay play 20 what, 22 cards and you've made your money back? We'll probably play that over the course of the game. So yeah, that's probably well worth getting, I think. So we might have that card. Now immediately, by buying that card, we're going to not be able to actually play that card. Unless we do something clever. I think we'll go for that. We won't go for these other ones. Although that is quite good. Miranda Resort's quite good. What um, what tags have we got? Have we got Earth tags? We've got one Earth tag. That gives you uh, monies per Earth tag you have, I believe. We go and have a look. Increase your money production one step for each Earth tag you have. That would be quite good. And that's an Earth tag as well. Do you know what? We'll take those two things. We'll take those two. We'll leave the virus behind and we'll leave the Ganymede colony behind. I think that's fine. We can cope with that. So there we go. So six spent on that. Is it my go? Do I begin? He's got 35 monies. Right, so I've got 19 monies, which is not very much at all. Now, I don't think I can use that anymore. Don't want to use that action. Can I keep putting things on that? Oh, I can. I can just keep piling them up. <laughs> keep piling up microbes. Okie doke. And let's get ourselves three more cards. And let's see what they are. And we can go and sell them, possibly. Technology demonstration. Uh, okay. How intriguing. What's that about, then? What's that? Draw two cards. Um, I'm not that bothered. What were the other ones? Skip to the end. An ore processor and a natural preserve. Oh, that gives me a victory point. That could be quite good. But really, I want to get the earth catapult into place. I want to get the earth catapult in because that's going to be really, really useful. All these cards are so useful. Okay, let's end turn. Let the grey player have a go. He's increasing his money a bit more. Oh, he's increasing the temperature. He's just temperature man. He's increases his temperature all the time. <laughs> That's all he does. 
Good grief. Look at that. And again. And again, more temperature increase going on. Good grief. Um, I think I might hold fast right now. I might pass my go. Next turn, we can get that thing in. the Whatever it was, the space thing. The earth catapult. Get the earth catapult in. That makes everything I'm building from that point on cheaper, which is going to be a good thing. So I think we pass now. Yes, it'll probably get a bit weird for me. Okay, what are you doing? Are you sure? But yeah, let's do that. And next time out, I can build my thing and make everything cheaper. So let's uh, let's wait for the next turn to roll around. Okay, got to pick some more cards if I want to. So let's have a look. That's very expensive. It gives me two victory points. It's very, very expensive to build. Uh, cartel, increase your money production for each earth tag you have. That is only eight. That's only eight. But yeah, I'm going to have to pay eight to then increase it for earth tags. And I don't know if I've got many earth. So I've only got one earth tag. I'm not like to get that many more. But um, yeah, the earth, that catapult thing is actually an earth tag, isn't it? So I could do that. That might be worth doing. Okay, let me have a look through these. Let's see what I want to pick. Okay, I'm going for the cartel to help boost my money production up a little bit more. And Heather, because that's going to be useful later on. That is very, very good. It's a very good card, but it's really expensive. It's so expensive. And I don't know if I'll be able to actually make any use of it. And that thing there, I'm not that bothered about. The sort of little building industry thing. So, okay, we'll have that. Thank you very much. Now, is it my go? Is it my turn? Does it start with me? I know it starts with him, I think. I think he's doing his thing. He's getting monies and what have you. Did the temperature just go up again? Is all he doing? Is he just generating heat? He's just got a massive hairdryer. He's just pointing it into the into the Martian sky. Okay, fine. Well, then you. Um, okay, well, actions. Let's do this tardigrade thing. Yes, absolutely. On to there. Might as well get as many of those as I can because other cars can come into effect. And yeah, let's not use that now. Let's go through into here. Let's deploy our Mars catapult or whatever it was called. I've got so many cards. Earth catapult. Yes, please. 23. But now whenever I play a card, it's going to be less. Less money is to do that. So yeah, please. Absolutely do that. Beautiful. Gives me some victory points, which is good. So I'm a little bit behind him on um, Terraform rating. But in terms of victory points, I've got probably a few more than him, which is good. I've got to think I can next turn as well. Just wait for this guy's go to finish. He's raising the temperature a bit more. Yeah, well, two can play at that game because your heat, excess heat, gets turned into... Uh, sorry, excess energy, sorry, gets turned into heat. And when you have eight heat in here, you can use it to raise the temperature. So I'm going to do that. My turn is going to be convert eight heat to increase the temperature. The temperature will go up to minus six. And also I will get a terraform rating point thing, which is quite nice. That should bump me up to 23. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say it's not done it yet. Why hasn't it done it? But okay, so that's good. And now action two of two, I need to decide what I would like to do now. For the grand cost of two now, because obviously things are a bit cheaper, I might build a mine, increase my steel production one step. And that gives me some steel. So in each turn, I'll be earning steel. And then I can use steel to then buy buildings. So yeah, all right, I'll play a mine. Lovely. Thank you very much. And end my turn for this particular instance. Ah, he's passed. Right, he's passed. And that's all down to me. I've got 10 monies left. Don't want to do anything else. Let's have a quick look. The cartel might be worth doing now then. Increase your money production for each earth tag I have. How many earth tags Oops. do I have? I've got two. So I could spend six. Yeah, that's probably worth doing. That's probably a good card to deploy right now. So if I then go to Cartel, so I've got two Earth Tags. It's going to increase my money production for each Earth Tag I have by two. So because I've got two Earth Tags, so I'll get plus two. So I'll get 23 next time plus an additional two. So yeah, that's no bad thing. So yes, please. I'll have that. Oh, it's got up to three. Oh, because that was an Earth Tag. Oh, right. I see. That's very, very good. And then I've got four left. Have I got anything that I can play for? A magnetic field dome. What does that do? I lose two energy, uh, increase my plant production, and raise my terraform rating. Um, that might be worth doing. Hang on, let's check. There was another... What, where's that power grid thing? Increase your energy production one step for each power tag you have, including this. So I want to do that, or do I want to do something else? Solar wind power I can't do. Or do I save that money? Or do I put greenhouses I don't want to put in, I don't think, because I've not got cities. It's there to do with cities. Magnetic field, though. Oh, I've got all these other things as well. Technology demonstration gives me cards. Not that bothered. Ah, the Trans-Neptune Probe. That might be worth doing. A free, easy victory point right there. Yeah, do that. Why not? Bosh. Victory point in. 
end turn, and now I can't do anything else because I've got no money. So we'll pass, we'll go to the next generation. Okay, and I can now buy up to four cards. I'm going to discount these two here. I might even discount the giant space mirror. It looks very, very cool. I love the idea of a giant space mirror, but I don't think 15 is very expensive. To give us three power, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. But mangroves are certainly worth it because it's fairly, it's a fairly, well, it's an easy victory point, which is good. So we'll take mangroves. Thank you very much. And let's do all the boring stuff that we did before. We're going to do all the stuff down here. Oh, no, it's it's Grey Player, is it? Oh, no, it's my turn. Okay, thank you very much. Right, actions. Do one of my actions to do that thing. Onto the Tardigrades. Thank you very much. And then the other action is let's grab myself some more cards and let me just go and have a nosy at what they are. They're actually quite good cards again. They're very good cards. I just need more money. I need more money to actually sit and do all these things. Need lots more cash to be able to uh, spend on all these cards. But okay, right, I've got no actions left now. So let's see what you do. Are you gonna raise the temperature or do any oxygen or anything? You've got a bit of money. No, you're raising the temperature again. You're just the temperature guy. You're just the temperature man. You've put down a volcano by the look of it and then you've increased, and again, and again. Raising the temperature created a new ocean. Select where you want to place it. Oh, I assume this is that guy. There we go, look, and he's put ocean down. So ocean has appeared. So one out of nine. One out of nine oceans is in place, and we are getting very near to the temperature track thing being reached. Okie dokie. Right, what do we want to do? See, now we can do stuff like this. We can put trees in, because now it's minus four degrees C or warmer. It's minus two degrees. So I think we put trees in, increase our plant production by three steps, and we gain a plant, which is exciting. So let's do that. Let's do that. That's nice. A victory point goes in, and we've got ten plants. Now we can exchange those ten plants tiles we've got here 10 plant counters if you like resources they call them convert them into a greenery tile that we can place on the board lovely and if we put them on one of these if we put them on there we get two back so if we put it on that tile we get two uh, plant resources as they call it back so let's put it there why not there we go and look a little sort of foresty area grows up round it that's very, very cool. I like that. That's very good. Uh, okay, well, that's our turn done. So we'll end our turn. We'll see what Grey Player does. Oh, did Grey Player just immediately pass? Ah, maybe Grey Player has ran out of the monies. Okay, what do we want to do? Okay, I might deploy some Heather, which doesn't sound like the most exciting thing I could do. But Heather means that we increase our plant production by one step. So we'll have a plant production of five and we gain one plant. So we'll end up with production of five. So each turn, each generation, we'll get five plant tiles, plant whatever they are, production tokens. And we'll have five anyway. So let's do that. It's only four to play that. It's only four monies to deploy that. So let's do that. Lovely. And uh, another action. Okay, splendid. We've got eight monies left. What can I do with eight monies? I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to build the Rad Chem Factory. So decrease your energy production by one step. So that'll go down to two. Raise your terraform rating two steps. That'll put me up onto 26. That's lovely. And I've got one unit of iron. So I can then go, all right, I'm going to use one unit of iron to reduce the cost of this. So it costs six normal monies. But one unit of iron is worth two monies. So now I'm going to be paying four for this, which is lovely. So I say six, but yes, I'm going to actually pay four for that. That should go down. That should vanish. The steel should vanish. And I've got four left. There we go. And my terraform rating has gone up. Okay, that was a good turn. That was a pretty good turn. Uh, okay, I've got four left now. Dwindling resources. Can I do anything for four? Okay, no, I can't find any cards that I really want to play right now, but this does bring us to a good point where we can leave it for now. I think we need to leave it here because we're going to be playing for a little while yet. And if I were to carry on to the end of this particular game, I think we could be here for a long while. It could be a very, very long video. So yeah, I think we stop now. We come back for a second part and we see how this game concludes. But yeah, I mean, it's going okay. It's going okay. We've got over that sort of early lull of not really having any money and any cards. And then we're getting into it now. Look, we've got lots of production going on, lots of plant production. We've got some power production going on. We've got a bit of steel. We've got some money coming in. We've got some points up here. We've got some terraform rating. Our opponent has more terraform rating, which means he has more money to go and do lots more things. But we've got our cards down here and we've got our little actions. We've got our little tardigrade things that are giving us some victory points. And of the sort of three 
finishing conditions for the game. We've now got one water tile on the board, a little tiny bit of oxygen has crept into the Martian atmosphere, courtesy of my forest thing that I put down, and old grey player over here has been very, very, very busy upping the temperature. I think I've upped the temperature once, and he's upped, upped it all those other times. So uh, yeah, he's been busy working on that. So yeah, once that's at the top, that's the top, and we've got nine water tiles on the board. That's it. The game ends. The game ends right there. So, um, yeah, this seems like a good point to leave it. It seems like a very, very good point to stop playing right now. And, um, yeah, hopefully it's made sense. Hopefully it's made sense as I've played. It's very hard to describe it from the off, from, you know, just you know, talking about the game. It's very difficult to describe the rules. So hopefully this has actually made some sort of sense. And hopefully you have found this interesting. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have enjoyed it, or you found it interesting or useful, then please do leave a like. And also please do subscribe to uh, keep up to date with the stuff that we do on the channel, but also to maybe keep up to date with how we get on in our terraforming Mars mission. Because, you know, can we beat Great Player? Great Player is streets ahead of us in terraform rating. Can we catch up with one of our many, many cards? Can we actually catch him up? Or will it all rely on the victory points at the end? Has he got no victory points and we've got nine? Because that would, you know, that would bring us right back into contention. So it might be quite close at the end of this. So yes, subscribe and come back and see how it went on. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. And I'm back in the lockup again. I can break out this time though. Ha ha! Don't have that, you buggers. This game is very hard. And it doesn't care that it kicks you in the face every now and then. Is there a difference between a gremlin and a goblin? I don't know. Maybe one's got a bigger chin and one's got bigger noses or ear size or something. I don't know. Whatever. These fellas.